Welcome back, YouTubers, to my breakdown and reactions to Hell in a Cell 2018. I filmed this one part once already, but something happened in the recording process that I could not upload it. Uh, so we're recording it again. This one, we're talking about the Becky Lynch versus Charlotte for the SmackDown Women's Tag Team or Women's Championship. They haven't got the tag team titles yet. I don't want to think. Anyway, uh, going into it, I thought it was a solid match. I'm probably one of the few people that thought Becky was going to win. Um, I was really looking forward to this match. I knew there'd be like a lot of reversals, a lot of counters, a lot of you know, technical wrestling. Um, some back, like, getting back and forth. Uh, moves that we haven't seen them use before. Um, like the uh, amazing looking uh, hammerlock uh, inverted DDT. That Becky and on Charlotte. Um, this match, I think it could have been. I mean, instead of sort of a one on one match, like, and I hope they do it in the future, uh, they both have submission finishers. So I like to see them in a, in a submission match. You know, kind of like a blow off to the feud or whatever. Because um, you'd have the disarmor against the uh, figure eight. But again, the match was a really good, technically sound match. There wasn't. That many things that went wrong like you possibly think of. Um, except for the end. The end was a little wonky. Charlotte, Becky going back and forth. Charlotte went for the spear. Becky turned it into some weird, oddly hit looking uh, DDT. Slash anything like a roll up. But it did it. She got the pin. Um, I don't know if the match ran late and they just decided to call it there. Or if that was actually intended, just they had planned it to go a lot smoother than it did. Um, I hate when people use their finishers as like a submission, but in order to make the person losing look a little bit stronger, they don't have them tap out to the submission hold. Then what's the point? I mean, tapping out does not make you look weak, in my opinion, at all. In fact, it could be, you know, smart. Save yourself for another day. You know, don't stay in a hole too long. You could really hurt yourself. So, I don't I don't like the pinfall outcome. Um, but I do want to address, a lot of websites have been talking about the WWE thinking about scrapping. The Becky Lynch is like the heel-ish character that she's been. Uh, we've seen lately she's been, like, you know, dressing in disguises to attack Charlotte. And basically just healing out in promos and calling her names and sneak attacking her at every chance. And the crowd's actually cheering that. And the WWE perceives that as, oh, she's being cheered. Maybe she should be a face. The fans are getting behind her. And it's not that we are getting behind her. We've always been behind Becky. If you're a fan of Becky Lynch, you'll always be a fan of Becky Lynch. And I am a massive fan for Becky Lynch. It's just we're cheering because we're finally getting the Becky Lynch we want. Not the one that you think we want. So, anyway, like I said, not much to really talk about. There wasn't really anything spectacular. It was a one on one match with no stipulations brought into the match. So, I mean, it was a great technical sound match with a lot of counters and reversals. Uh, Becky, I mean, I, I really can't say much more than I'm glad she finally is the women's champion. I think she should have won it. At SummerSlam, but eh, that's not, I'm not the one making the booking decision. So that is my reactions to the Becky Lynch versus Charlotte match. Leave a comment. Let me know how you felt about the match. Uh, like, share this video with everybody you possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one comes out, this is Mr. Russell Rant saying I will see you in a little bit.